Story 1. The Florida Lizard Man Hi, what lurks beneath. I'm reaching out to you because you seem to have a lot of answers to a lot of people's cryptid problems. See, back in January of 2019, I saw something that I think is the Lizard Man, but I'm not too sure because I know for a fact there is no known animal that looks like what I saw, and I know there are only a handful of animals that exist that are even bipedal. Back in January of 2019, I was driving northbound on the 301, just north outside of Jacksonville, Florida, when, from the right side of the road, came this giant lizard-looking thing. It was upright and taller than my car. It looked like part man, part iguana, at least in the body, but the head was something else entirely. It was almost prehistoric looking, like if you took the head of a dinosaur and slapped it on a lizard man body. The body, if you look at just about any fan fiction art of what a lizard man is supposed to look like, well, there's only a few definitions, and this thing pretty much fit the stereotypical definition. Covered in scales, rippling muscles, two arms, a broad chest, legs just like a person, and a large tail, with a head that was very dinosaur-like. It actually kind of reminded me of the head of the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic Park films. I can tell you that I did see the eye, and the eye was almost identical. That small, pinpoint yellow eye. But it was so quick that I didn't catch the best glimpse in the world. It was broad daylight, about 1.30, maybe 1.45 p.m. in the afternoon. And this thing came from the right side of the road, quickly jumped over both lanes into the 10-foot grass median, then cleared the other oncoming lanes in another jump. This thing happened, or cleared the road, in roughly about three to four seconds, from it appearing on the right side, all the way to the swamps to the left. I was shocked and could not believe what I had seen. Unfortunately, I was by myself, so there was nobody I could call or say, did you see that? I even questioned afterwards if I was going crazy or if I really did see that. There was not much traffic on this area of the road at the time, so I'm pretty much the only one that saw it. Now, my question is to you. Are you able to read this to your viewers so maybe they could help me find out exactly what I saw? I've only ever heard of Bigfoot, and I had no idea nothing else like this even existed until I saw it with my own eyes. I know for a fact it was not a human in a costume, because number one, it looked way too realistic. Even the quick glimpse that I saw of it. And two, no human not even a world-winning athlete can move and jump that fast. It was not human, and if it was a human, they were supernaturally agile, which, again, I think includes my case that I am certain I saw cryptid. Could it have been a lizard man? Do lizard men even exist? Well, I found the answer to that. After seeing this and then doing some research, I came upon the Scape Ore sighting, dated back to the 80s. I'm sure you already know about that. But judging by his drawing that the boy drew, this thing didn't look like that. So I ended up down a rabbit hole, which led me to your Reptilian Encounters playlist. And after going through about three or four of them, I figured contacting you was my best bet. So, what do you think I saw? Story 2. Alligator Killer This happened to my father about 15 to 16 years ago, somewhere around 2005. He does not go to this fishing spot anymore due to what he described to me that he had seen, and I've known about this for a long time. We live south of Houston, southeastern Texas, and yes, before I go on with my story, we do have an abundant amount of alligators. They're actually a part of the freshwater ecosystem here. So, if you're surprised to find that out, then I'm sure you'll even be more surprised to find out what happened next. There's a little spot 
that my father, he thinks was a private spot or private property, but he snuck on there and fished for years without ever being bugged. He thinks it was either federally owned or that it was somebody's property that only hunted on it. I agree that he shouldn't have been fishing on that spot for the time that he did because, well, he could have gotten in a lot of trouble had he got caught. So maybe it's a good thing this happened to keep him out. He was fishing at this spot and he'd seen alligators many times. They're not really an issue for him, but he saw something more horrific than an alligator. He said when he was fishing, he saw this, what he thought was an alligator, rise up out of the water on two legs, which appeared to be more horrific and larger than any alligator he had seen. This thing had picked up a nearby alligator out of the water and before his very own eyes, ripped it in half from head to tail, not vertically speaking, but horizontally to where if it ripped it in half, its guts and belly would be ripped open and innards would spew everywhere. That's exactly what happened. And this massive hippopotamus lizard thing was eating off the guts. That's kind of what my dad called it. Half lizard or half alligator and half hippopotamus. He mentioned the hippopotamus because he said its face kind of reminded him of that. Very ugly, very flat, with a very large snout. But not like that of an alligator or a lizard to where it's narrow and slender. Very wide with massive husks and very sharp teeth. It was also very large and tall, brown and whitish in color, but covered in dark slimy scales and appeared to have massive arms and hands like a human, which he mainly just calls it a hippopotamus alligator thing, which I know isn't that descriptive, but he doesn't know what else to call it. Anyway, he sees this thing rise up out of the water, grab the alligator, rip it in half, and start eating on its innards. That was enough for him. He got out of there ASAP. And now, it's been nearly 15 years since he saw that thing. He doesn't know what it is, he knows there's wildlife that he's never seen before, but he's pretty sure that he's never heard of that, nor has anybody else. I remember, back when that happened, he came home and told me about it, and we still talk about it now and to this day. We've even spent time looking it up, and nothing we can find points to a creature or any animal that matches or fits that exact description. Story 3 Avoid Mud Lake. Back in September of 2019, when I was visiting Mud Lake in Louisiana, which, by the way, is an amazing hot spot for redfish, I was attacked by something I can only describe as a dinosaur on two legs. Had I not gotten away in time, I believe it would have killed me. I'm out on my small boat and I already have my line casted into the water. I hear a noise from brush off in the distance. I turn up to see this freakish looking thing coming out of the brush and staring right at me. I nearly dropped my rod in the water right there. This thing looked like a dinosaur, except it looked part human, like what you'd imagine from Jurassic Park if they took humans and dinosaurs and spliced them together, DNA. Then, this thing crouched down, just like a person, and dove into the water. Then, it started swimming rapidly towards my boat. In a panic, I ended up dropping my entire rod into the water, and got my boat going, and I got out of there quickly. But as I was going, this thing was keeping up with my boat, and following me at crazy speeds. I got to a certain point to where I think I lost it because I could not see it anymore. I am sorry my encounter isn't very long, but the experience shook me very deeply. I have never seen anything like that in all my 34 years of fishing, and I've never seen or heard anything like that from friends and colleagues alike who have spent so much time out here fishing and enjoying the wildlife around the Louisiana area. One important note that I do want to leave you with is I had a buddy about six years ago 
who claimed he had seen a werewolf or some sort of dog canine humanoid. That was back in the north area of Louisiana. This was years ago, and I always used to make fun of him for it, thinking he had just simply misidentified a black bear or was just making stuff up. But now, now that I know the possibilities are more real than they ever have been, maybe I'm not so sure. Story 4. Attempted Break-In Just back in October, I had a terrifying break-in experience, or a near break-in experience. I live alone. I'm a little older, so my kids are moved out of the house, and my wife passed years ago. I don't own any guns, but after this, well, I'm definitely rethinking about that. Something tried to break into my tiny trailer. What it was, I didn't get a great look at it, but I did see something. I know this is going to sound crazy, but hear me out. This thing looked like a velociraptor, or something of that nature. Some sort of large lizard or reptile, but it was standing upright and standing taller than my trailer, which my trailer is around 10 feet tall. Another reason I was so incredibly frightened. This thing was massive, very broad, easily four or five feet across, which sounds unrealistic. But if you saw this thing or caught a glimpse, you would just see how disproportionate and how weird this thing looked. It was a very dark green, if not black color, and tried to wiggle the door handle, walked all around the house, and even rammed up against the back side of the trailer several times. It did this for roughly two hours between the hours of 11.35 p.m. and around two in the morning. I thought to call the police, but I figured they wouldn't be much help. I just tried to ride it out, which I know, in hindsight, was probably a really poor decision. If this thing would have broken in, which of that size, I'm surprised it didn't, I wouldn't be here right now. I've never heard of such a thing being so intelligent that it knew what a door handle was and tried to violently wiggle it as if to open it. But the size of this thing, it could have broken down my door had it really wanted to, but it didn't. It could have shattered a window and broken in and got me, but it didn't. It's like it wanted to terrify me. Just let me know it was there. Or maybe like a cat who had trapped a mouse and waited, deciding not to kill it, but yet just to instill fear to let it know that it's there and can get you any time. This was back around mid-October, and I have not seen or dealt with it since. Before then, I have never heard of this thing, and I have never had any nightly visits from it. This is the one and only time. It was extremely traumatic, and even though I mentioned the gun thing, I've decided against it for the time being, which is why I haven't gotten one yet. I know that doesn't make sense, but with all the ammunition and guns at an all-time high, I'm just kind of worried about buying one, that for some reason, maybe if I try to purchase one, I'll get in trouble. I don't know. I live at the end of a small road. Not very rural, but not anywhere near the city. I have a couple neighbors around me, mostly elderly, which they don't really get out much or even talk much. I think the man in the house near me is in a wheelchair and doesn't have a caretaker. There's a lady by the front end of the street. She's also, I believe, in her 70s or 80s and doesn't go out much or say much. So it's a very small community of people that don't really intermingle. So I'm not exactly sure if they've had their own run-ins with this thing. I'm thinking, though, of maybe going over there and talking with them. Maybe they've seen this thing too. If you or anybody you know has a story or encounter they would like to share with me, please send it to stories at whatlurksbeneath.com. You can find the email in the description below.